Hello friends, welcome to Design Fusion YouTube video channel. In this video, we are going to see how you can perform a non-linear buckling analysis in SimCenter 3D or NX. Here you can see I have one C channel and which is 15 inch taller and I have created mid surface uh, in idealized environment and also created a FEM uh, model where I mesh this mid surface using a cell element and assign a thickness right away from the mid surface and apply a steel rolled material to it. Once my FEM model is ready, I will right away create a new simulation file and make sure that I select a sim center nastran and hit OK. And now we are going to create a solution for linear buckling analysis and solution type would be the sole 105 linear buckling. Once my solution is created, I will right away create fix constraint because I need to fix my base. So I will select a uh, bottom polygon edges and fix it. And now I need to make sure that my top can move only in Z direction. So I will apply a user defined constraint on the top polygon edges uh, and fix all the direction instead of translation in Z and rotation about Z direction. Now we are going to create a unit load and I will apply that unit load on the nodes available on the top polygon edges. Once I selected it, I will uh, select my vector in a direction of negative Z and my load is applied. Now my solution is ready to solve and here you can see in simulation monitor a solver is calculating eigenvalue for us and my simulation is solved so let's load our result and see that. So here you can see that solver give us a 10 eigenvalue and here uh, we have the different uh, displacement as per the eigenvalue. So let's consider uh, that first buckling mode is happening about 3.1 mega pound force. And uh, here we have deflection uh, behavior of, of it. So I'm going to create a field for displacement and we will scale down uh, this displacement and use it to check our nonlinear behavior at buckling mode one. Here you can see that uh, created fill is available in uh, simulation navigator. So let's create our nonlinear buckling analysis. And for that, I will select a simulation type as SOL 401 multi step nonlinear and let's create the solution where I will keep all the parameter default and make sure that uh, switch on large displacement and create a nonlinear static subcase where I will define the end time as 2000 and number of increment about 100. Once it is done, I will simply drag and drop my constraint because the constraint will be the same uh, for nonlinear behavior as well. and uh, and I will clone my already created a force and name it as a critical load because we are going to use uh, our critical load for buckling mode one. And it so I will make sure that I will apply large enough force. It is about a four mega pound of force I have applied in same direction as I applied unit load. Once it is done, I will simply drag and drop that uh, critical force into my current solution. And now we are going to apply our initial imperfection. Uh, displacement of our mode one and I will scale down it by 0.01. So here you can see that I have applied my initial imperfection to check my nonlinear buckling behavior. So once it is done, you can right away plot it and review it that uh, imperfection is applied correctly or not. So here 
it's look good for me let's move forward and solve this simulation so now we are going to solve our solution once I start solving it it will right away launch a solution monitor for you where in solution control monitor you can see the real-time preview of your uh, model during the solving time here you can see that it is deflecting and already buckle about 1400 and about 18 uh, 100 second it start crippling so based on a uh, default parameter of NAS transformer it will it is having trouble to pass a crippling point and will will stop at some point so here you can see that our solution is done so let's move forward and check the result so here you can see that uh, the crippling happened about 1853 second and so here you can see that nonlinear buckling behavior of our C channel so uh, you notice that it's look bit different than what we have in linear buckling mode 1 so the behavior is uh, same but uh, direction of deflection is different than our linear uh, buckling mode so that is why uh, post nonlinear buckling behavior is important criteria to check and here I have created a time versus displacement uh, chart and I am also interested to know uh, like what would be the force at that particular time so I will also create a time versus applied force graph and uh, I will save both graph as uh, AUF so we can create a applied force versus displacement plot and check uh, at which point our buckling and crippling is happening so let's go to, to the XY function and create our uh, applied force versus displacement plot and I will right away probe it to check the value so here you can see that it's look uh, linear and about our critical buckling load at mode 1 it is start buckling and, and uh, uh, about 1800 second it start crippling and did not pass a uh, solution uh, on further point so this way using a uh, sim center 3d or annex you can set up your buckling analysis very quickly and easily and check our post buckling behavior for more video please like and subscribe our youtube video channel